Hello and good Tuesday, November 18th, 2008. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. What will life be like in the year 2008? Like this? Hands-free cars at high speeds of 150 miles per hour in a city and 250 on the highway? Dome cities and memory pills? James R. Berry published this article in 1968, set for today's date, Tuesday, November 18th, 2008. He did get the day, Tuesday, right, which is impressive considering it's a leap year this year. And a more modest proposal came this weekend for the year 2014, predicting the end of tangible media. Steve Rubell is placing bets that by 2014 there will be virtually no more books, newspapers or magazines. Instead, he's expecting everything new moving forward to be completely digitised. Not sure how the education system will be able to move that fast with their high-priced textbooks and timber lobbyists. 2014 is only five years out. In Wall Street. Seems like the bull has lost some steam. Please send tips to... Not sure who. The space shuttle is back. Currently docked with the International Space Station after a nice weekend trip from Earth. 18 people are chilling up there right now. Mission specialists Heidi Steffenschein, Piper and Steve Bowen are scheduled to perform a spacewalk today. Here's a cool new invention that didn't come from NASA and may or may not be in the forefront of the minds of the ISS crew. Finger forks! This is one of those inventions you can't believe you didn't think of first. But then you realise that you probably really don't want to be known for that. Sheesh kebab. How about a helping hand? Note how the spectators just jump right in with a lift. Author unknown. Free t-shirt for the first person who leaves a comment on the rocketboom.com website with proof of the author's name. Let's identify. Is Microsoft using Apple computers in their commercials again? Looks like a MacBook Pro right there in this ad for Vista. Is Microsoft using Sony joysticks in their adverts? Looks like PlayStation controllers right there in this ad for Vista. And in case you missed it, Obama's weekly address will be on YouTube. And his first one is already up there. Make no mistake, this is the greatest economic challenge. Pretty cool. Let's hear some more. And while the road ahead will be long. Sweet. I know that we can steer ourselves out of this crisis. It is a bit long, but the whole 3 minutes and 34 seconds is there. Hey, speaking of long, let's cut this.